I shouldn't be sitting in this heat. It, it's sweltering. Extreme temperatures in the forecast. A broken air conditioner can quickly become a serious health hazard. Oh, no doubt. So new this morning, as on your side, Susan Campbell explains, you have options, but unfortunately, they aren't going to solve your problem immediately. Outside, the sun is scorching. Right now, it's 88 degrees in here. Inside Tony Davis's apartment, it's hot and getting hotter. It's 95 degrees in my apartment in the middle of the day. Tony's air conditioner broke three weeks ago. Later on in the week, it's supposed to be 114, and I have no sign of a date for a fix. Fans and even a portable AC unit that our apartment complex provided can't keep up. I have a kidney transplant, okay? I take transplant medications every day. I'm not supposed to be in extreme heat. Yash Pawa is an attorney who specializes in consumer issues and tenants' rights. He says under Arizona state law, you have rights if your AC breaks. But the process takes time. It starts with a notice telling your landlord about the problem. You send the email, the portal, because those are the quick ways to get a hold of them. But also make sure you send a copy certified mail or hand deliver it to your you know, leasing office. Uh, just so you're in compliance with the statute. Then the landlord has five days to fix the problem. If they don't, you have a couple options. You can choose to terminate your lease and leave, which honestly really isn't that great of an option because where are you going to go? And the other option is you can hire, you know, your own contractor to come do the work. But there are limits. First, whoever you hire has to be licensed to do the job. You have to get them to sign a waiver of lien and you have to pay them to make sure you have your receipts. The other thing to keep in mind is you can only self-help up to half a month's rent. So if your rent is $1,000 a month and you spend 600 bucks fixing the thing, you can only deduct 500 from the next month's rent. You can also go to a hotel or temporarily rent somewhere else, but there are limits to that too. The landlord has only has to reimburse you for 25% over what your periodic rental rate is. So say, you know, if you divide your rent over 30 days, your rental rate is 50 bucks a day, which in this market's not. Um, you're only allowed 25% over that. So if the hotel room is, you know, 200 bucks a night, you're only going to get maybe a third of that back and the rest is out of pocket. That's not an option for Tony. So for now, nonstop, it's on the highest fan. She's staying as close as she can to this portable AC unit to try to stay as cool as possible while she waits for a fix. So we reached out to Rise 48 Communities, which manages Tony's apartment, and they say that they got her a second portable AC unit and are having someone come out to fix her AC first thing. Yeah, experts say some parts for air conditioners are still in mm -hmm. short supply, so it can be a real challenge to make repairs quickly in some cases.